Hello, namaste, and welcome back to 365 Days of Healing. Today, I am here with you uh, to, do, to talk about the desire for God, for uh, unity, for oneness. So we all have this desire underneath, if you don't feel it strongly, of the connection with the divine because we are that divine but many enlightened teacher tells us like for example Ramana Maharishi says this in a really beautiful way he says we all have this desire inside but the thing is it is covered by all the other desires that are our destructions of the 3D world, so the material world. And uh, so what we have to do, according to, for example, Ramana Maraishi, he says, whenever you see an idea, an opinion, so a desire coming up or an attachment, just consciously let it go. Just keep on saying, I don't need this. This is not me. This is not me. And the more you do this, you're kind of like taking away desires and you will start to feel this fire to be in the presence of God, which at the end was, will dissolve your I, the ego I, so that you can become again conscious of you being that divine because you're constantly that divine you just forgot it because the mind is there which is your identity and uh, the more the mind is there and the less your divinity is there or it's not that it's not there it's just you're not conscious of it so this exercise is an exercise which is really, really important um, because it will help you to burn your karma and to make sure to not create more karma because attachments and desire create new karma. And karma makes you stay in this samsara, in this 3D world. So... Um, there is a story about a king and uh, this king was a liberated, enlightened king and he was really kind and uh, he wanted to give a chance to all his, uh, how he, I don't know how to say it in English, but all the people in his kingdom to come and get blessed by him. So he said to his kingdom, he said, okay, this Saturday I will open my kingdom to the castle, to anyone who wants to come. It will be open from um, the morning until sunset. Uh, and when you come in, you will find like all beautiful things like chocolate or like uh, beautiful places to eat and things to do like games and all these kind of things. And then there will be the castle and you can come in and in in the one room at the beginning, I will be there and you can get a blessing from an enlightened being. So the day comes and the king opens the doors of his castle and everyone stopped at the, the, like, the places to check them out. Just one person went straight to the king. And what happens that then sunset comes and the king closes the door and no one beside of one person went to see the king to get a blessing of an enlightened being. And this is what happens in the world. We are so distracted from the material, from uh, desires, attachments, and wanting to be right in our identity that we don't have the fire to actually do anything we can to actually achieve moksha, achieve jiva mukti, achieve where, whatever you want to call it, to be liberated, to go back to that oneness that we all are. So 
make it as your priority and just keep on just don't give attention to desires and attachments which are not the one that is for oneness and um, this exercise is a really precious exercise um, that will help you to uncover uncover more and more that sense of oneness and unity to uh, actually go back to that and help other people to do that too because you more the more you do it and the more you will help everyone else do it so thank you very much for listening today and uh, namaste <laughs>